Well, Coach, you look at uh, you know everything that's transpired since we last talked. Obviously, you all had a Saturday session, and you also uh, got the chance to evaluate that film. What did you see from uh, from last week, and how the how the carryover come into today? Yeah, there's a lot of really good carryover in the first 22, 24. You know, your top group of guys. Um, the young guys that know what to do, when to do it, do well. And then there's that moment of, oh, it's a new, new formation or new play, and they're a little bit hesitant. So we got to maximize this week to kind of get those young guys caught up. Um, but I thought overall, the first Saturday session went really well, you know, with your first couple guys operating, operating fast, communicating, understanding situations, um, understanding what we were trying to get done in each drill, whether it was perimeter drill, third down drill, uh, short yardage drill, whatever it was, I thought they did a really good job. When, when you look at the chemistry of guys, that second week, do you see a big difference from the first week as guys start to feel it out? They start moving a little faster, they start sort of getting the rhythm of what they're trying to get accomplished. Yeah, you start to see the, the older guys, you know, once you get, you know, installs start to pile up a little bit, the older guys have a little bit more uh, consistency and continuity. The younger guys, you can see them kind of thinking a little bit. Um, and that's typically what happens. The first couple of installs are very basic. We just want to see guys get out and play, get, see guys understand what we're trying to do schematically. And then when you start building the variables to the install, that's when you can see who understands, you know, not only the systems that we're running, but football in general, right? They start to put some things together. Typically what you start to see is, you know, the older guys feel really, really good for the first couple of weeks. The younger guys do well the first week, struggle a little bit the second week, start to pick it up the third week, getting into the back end of it. Yeah, and you look and, and a lot of professors, a lot of staff members came over today to, to be able to show their, your team's appreciation to them and, and be able to share a few moments with them on the sideline. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was good. We had, you know, professors appreciation day. You know, we had a bunch of, you know, professors and deans that came out today. I think it's really important, especially here at Marshall, to make sure that our community field stays the community field, not just well, when you're in academics, you know, you have your teaching and professor, but when you come to football or sports, you know, you're kind of in your own world. The more we can blend those worlds, the more our guys can see those professors, those deans in their environment, the more they'll respect their environment, as in the classroom. I told them when I went over there today, you know, for the first time, they get to see us in our classroom. And what we're trying to do is show that, hey, we're all in this together, whether we're in the classroom up on campus or whether we're down here in the football stadium or the indoor, um, that we're all in this together. I think it was really good for our guys to see them here today um, and get to spend some time. I know it was a tough day, you know, yesterday weather-wise here. A lot of communities in the area, you know, were feeling the impact of that. How good was it today to, to try and get back to a little bit of normalcy and, and sort of resume as people pick up the pieces from some pretty powerful storms? Yeah, obviously, you know, praying that everyone is, is safe. You know, we reached out to some of the authorities to see if there were some cleanup duties that we could assist with. Um, this is our community, and whenever, you know, something, you know, happens, uh, we want to be involved. And, you know, but to get back today and see a little bit of sunshine after the last, you know, few hours of storms, and then you look, you know, you see some of the damage that was done. Um, hopefully everyone is still safe. Hopefully everyone's getting power back if they don't have it. Um, if there's anyone out there that needs some cleanup, you know, uh, help, we're more than willing to do that. Again, this is our community. When I say our being the Marshall, you know, program, football program, our players, we want to make sure we're able to give back and help those who may be in need, um, you know, in their cleanup efforts or getting back, you know, to normal, if that makes sense.